Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. Uh, hello to all of our CFC Arts uh, family, artists, uh, supporters out in Facebook land and virtual world. Uh, we hope that you are doing well as you start this new week. We are very much looking forward to and excited about all the things that we can bring you this week to keep you creative and connected at CFC Arts. Uh, so let me tell you about some of the classes you're gonna experience. You know, ever since our physical shutdown that happened in March, one of the beautiful things about the offerings we've had of all of our classes and our workshops and lessons through our academy, all put on by our incredible education team. So today at 2 p.m., there's another watercolor class with Grace. That's learning how to paint scenes, beautiful scenes from national parks. And this week is Acadia National Park. Acadia in Maine uh, is a beautiful park, especially in the fall with the, the colors and the leaves. So maybe I'll have to try to pop in at two o'clock and, and paint something from a national park. Also today at five o'clock in our uh, Artist Toolbox series, uh, we have Music Video Creation 101 with Charlie Stevens. So it's an introductory class uh, to video editing, which is great for performers and musicians who are looking to make virtual concerts or virtual offerings of any kind. Then there will be a more in-depth class in August, four weeks with Charlie to dive a little bit deeper and to learn more about this topic. Again, this is a part of our Artist Toolbox series, and this is fully funded by Universal Orlando Foundation. We are so grateful to our friends and partners at Universal who help make these uh, opportunities happen. And then Wednesday, through our Wednesday Family Arts, we are having our World Music Night, focusing on the music of Japan. These family art series are a great way for everyone in the household to come together and to learn and to experience something about the arts uh, from your homes. Some other classes that are happening this week for older adults uh, through the support from the city of Orlando is a free dance for adults and then also beginner and intermediate ukulele. We were talking earlier about how fun playing the uke is and uh, how accessible it is. So if you've ever want to try to learn, uh, you can check out one of those classes. And then Thursday, our How to Fake Book It chord reading class with Scott Kincaid. Again, all of those Artist Toolbox classes uh, are funded by Universal Orlando Foundation. And then I just want to give uh, a huge thank you to every single person who bought a ticket to come see the uh, virtual board and staff cabaret. And then a huge shout out to all of the staff members and board members who participated. It was so much fun. Uh, we had a, a little bit of a tech glitch on Saturday that we are going to be learning from, uh, but we're, we're new in this virtual world. So uh, in, with all uh, things mattered, it was a really great success. So thank you to everyone. And we raised some great money for education offerings. If you still want to uh, support that and participate in that, you can still make a donation at cfcarts.com slash donate uh, to be a to give a gift uh, for all of the education efforts that we have. Uh, later this week, we're gonna share a really fun performance that happened that we don't want you to miss. So stay tuned to the member group and we'll be sharing that performance on the cabaret at some point uh, this week. Also, uh, we continue to have our virtual cabaret series. Thank you for those that supported and attended uh, Desiree Montez. Uh, cabaret. And then this Thursday is Acoustic Happy Hour with Amanda Breivogel and Steve Peshik. Remember, tickets start at only $5, but it is a pay what you will, and 50% of that ticket goes right back to the artists. So if you're looking for ways to support individual artists during this time, uh, consider buying a ticket to one of these cabarets so that you can help each one of these uh, performers. And then next week, August 4th and 5th, is David Lowe and the Von Trapped family. Uh, I am sure it will be a hoot. Uh, lots of great talent in the Lowe family and will be lots of fun. So make sure you get your tickets uh, to that. And then I want to just tell you about a really special project that we're doing uh, right now. So let me bring on our guest this morning, Ashley Ann Gardner, a professional theater artist, photographer, and musician. She also edited our CFC Arts Theater a Midsummer Night's Dream audio play. Hi, Ashley. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So Ashley, and I asked you this off record. I, I, I was like, you do so many things creatively. Is there nothing you can't do? And I think the only thing right now is piano, right? That is correct. <laughs> but I feel like that's in your future somewhere. I feel like you'll be tickling those ivories at some point on your creative journey. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Ashley, and how did you come to Seif's Yards? 
I was in the production of Noises Off in 2018, uh, directed by Jake Teixeira. Mm -hmm. And the show calls for a landscape to be painted in the back so that when Selston opens the window, uh, they see this backdrop of a countryside. And I volunteered to do the painting for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Donald Roop liked it. And he asked me to uh, come back to do scenic painting for some of the shows in that season. And then all of the shows last, this past season. Um, so I came to CFC Arts first through performance and then second through scenic painting and then third through uh, photographing the shows. Yeah, and you've been photographing a lot of our shows, orchestra concerts, the choir shows, so much of the last really a couple of years has been has been your photography. It's Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. <laughs> so and Ashley Ann, didn't you create the iconic from here map? Yes. <laughs> But now on t-shirts and all over the place. Well, actually, um, uh, Landon St. Gordon was the, the person who designed the map for the original poster. And then I took his design and I sort of expanded on it on uh, the backdrop of the From Here set. So beautiful. I, I want to give credit to him. Nice, beautiful. So Midsummer Night's Dream, Shakespeare, right? You got to get jazz to even perform in a Shakespeare play, but then to take it and edit it and make it something that people want to listen to in an audio form. Uh, why did you take on this project? I took on this project because uh, it was asked of me. So usually, um, <laughs> I, Step one, yes. <laughs> the only, usually the only reason that I uh, get involved with um, any sort of new skill uh, is because someone asks me if I can do it and then I usually always say yes and I find mm -hmm. a way to do it um, which means I have I'm pretty much self-taught so mm -hmm. um, I taught myself guitar ukulele mandolin um, scenic painting uh, oh my gosh photography and audio editing now. So I learned how to use Audacity, which is a free program online. Anybody can use it. And uh, I, yeah, but I just, <laughs> I, I took it on because it was needed and also because I wanted to do it. And um, Midsummer is a very important show for me. And there are a lot of people involved in this project who really uh, mean a lot to me. Um, I love CFC Arts so mm -hmm. much. But also, Megan Fenner is um, an old friend of mine, and so is mm -hmm. Megan Borkus. Megan Borkus and I have known each other for 15 years now. So that's awesome. And so, what does an audio editor do for like a podcast reading like this? What are you What are you making happen with this final version of this play? So, uh, basically, what I did was take the bits of audio which were sent to me uh, individually, scene by scene from each of the actors. So it was um, hundreds of audio files that were sorted by uh, character and then by act and then scene number. And I took all of those audio files and I chopped them up and then I placed them in the correct order. Um, first, sort of like up here <laughs> on, okay. the, on the uh, audio program editing. And then underneath there is um, there is a continuous track of ambient noise or music, um, both sometimes. And then also another track for sound effects. And I've heard bits and pieces of it, and it's just beautiful. It really came to life through the things that you did. So uh, just kind of in our last thought, Midsummer Night's Dream, why should people want to experience this, this story? And, and in an audio form, why should people take part in this? I think because it's such an escape from the things that we're currently experiencing. We're all going through this um, really strange collective um, trauma right now. Mm -hmm. And it's really easy for us to be stressed out. I know it's easy for me to be stressed out, but to be able to experience something that can um, hopefully take you away to an entirely different place. You can just close your eyes and imagine yourself being there. And that's what I really tried to do. It's I, I tried to make an audio uh, play where you could see what's happening without actually having to see it, where you can just listen to it. And I hope people find an escape. 
I love that. Beautifully said, Ashley Ann. Thank you for being a part of the CFC Arts family and for all that you do for us uh, here in our organization. Uh, amazing work always. So friends, check out A Midsummer Night's Dream. It'll be a bit available very soon. You can download it just like a podcast and listen to that whole story and listen to the work from Ashley Ann as well as so many wonderful performers uh, and creative people in our community. So that's it for this week. Lots of classes, workshops, uh, another virtual cabaret series, and of course, ways to connect with all of your program areas. Have a fantastic week, and we will see you next Monday.